it's Nicola here and it is the Heavy Metals Project Pan update number three I think. This project pan ends at the end of November. It technically ends on the 23rd of November but I'll be away on my honeymoon so as I've mentioned in previous videos so I will be doing my finale at the end of November beginning of December so I have one more month left. So let's get into it. So this project pan, if you haven't seen my heavy metals project pan videos before, this is four to six products I think um, was the number of items that you could link to either heavy metal bands or to metals like copper, gold, platinum, all of those sorts of things. So I chose five products. So let's get straight into it. The first one was this model launcher safari bronzer and I picked this because of the leopard print and I picked this for the band Death Leopard and last month my progress was it, nothing. I have nothing. Um, suddenly in the last month everything seems to have got a lot of progress and I'm really really pleased so not sure if you can see but I've been working in the middle right here I um, don't know if you can see it but there is a big dip in the centre there I cannot use this bronzer as a bronzer it is too gold for me um, I get speckles of gold glitter in on my face and it's not my colour. So I have been using that middle shade as um, a gold colour or a bronzy gold colour on my eyelids and I think it is stunningly beautiful used as that. Um, so yeah, I have been like using my brush directly in that bit and I now have a nice little dip. I reckon continuing the way that I am at the moment I will probably hit pan by the end of the project so really really happy with that because that is my goal so that is that one the next item is my makeup revolution duo lipstick in the shade it's my life and we have progress on the bottom here this was Okay, let me explain what happened. <laughs> I have a crack um, here in the um, plastic here which has released this part which is the gloss. So this part comes out now. But I have used up the majority of the gloss. I say the majority because I had to remove the stopper as I just showed you because I wasn't able to get any more out of it when I was just um, when the stopper was in I couldn't get to the product around the edges so I took <coughs> I took the stopper out and I what I did was I scooped out all of the gloss that was left and this is it in this tiny little uh, body shop pan like pot uh, this is all the gloss I've got left so I reckon a few more uses and that will be done so I'm really really pleased with that so that's the gloss part and the lipstick side is now to there from the height, let me turn it round, that's better. This doesn't seem to have been much use, um, but I, I think that the slope is getting like steeper because of the way that I use it. Um, I'm finding that the slope here is getting much more um, steeper, so I think it, <laughs> it's not showing then as progress but there is a lot of progress on there so really really happy with that 
I wasn't sure whether I was going to get much use out of this. I definitely wasn't going to finish it before the end of the project. But there's definite use there. And as I say, the gloss is practically gone anyway. So I'm very happy with that. Especially as I don't like gloss. Um, I don't like glosses and I don't like the way my hair sticks to my lips if I've got gloss on. Um, you know, and just general feel of gloss. But that one seems okay actually, so I really enjoy that. The next one is for the band Metallica. Oh, by the way, if you didn't get the ref uh, reference, that lipstick was in the shade It's My Life. And if you know your Bon Jovi songs, you'll have already guessed that was a Bon Jovi product. So my best band, my favourite band. Okay, so the next product is this um, eyeshadow stick by number seven, Stay Perfect Shade and Define in gunmetal grey. So this is my Metallica um, sort of um, product, gunmetal grey. And that is it here. Uh, for those of you who watched my Scary Clown video, you will know that this was the pencil I used for some details on my makeup look for that video. So there has been some progress, I will show you. Uh, can you see? Uh -oh. Just a little. There's been about about five milliliter milliliter no millimeter um, use which is great because I was struggling on how to use this product um, so the fact that I've used five millimeters worth of it tells me that you know it can be used up because I didn't know how to use it um, you can't use it as an eyeliner it states that in the instructions do not apply to the inner air, eye area so you can't use it as an eyeliner it has to be used as an eyeshadow so yeah i used it in my creepy clown look and i actually really enjoyed the eye look i created with that you know on the actual eye not all the other extra bits around it um so i may do that again sometime in the future but five millimeters worth of use for me is more than enough so uh the next item was for the band kiss and that was my makeup revolution shimmer brick in pink kiss and i have hit goal i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see but there's a tiny bit of pan really really tiny bit of pan I've been using this middle shade specifically right in that corner there as an eyelid colour. It is stunningly beautiful for a really nice sort of brown eye look and that shimmer shade there in the middle is a beautiful, beautiful brown. So is that one there. And see how it shimmers and it is absolutely stunning on the eyelids I also have a bit of a dip in this corner here where I've been dipping my brush in for an inner corner highlight and a brow highlight um, so I've been doing that and then I've been swirling my brush in all of it to do a face highlight so I've been getting a lot of use out of this and actually really really enjoy this product so I have hit goal on one item so I am so chuffed to bits on that one so that is one down and four more to go <laughs> there's only a month left so um, but I do think in all honesty that I will get at least another two maybe three of those out the only one I'm worried about is the gunmetal grey pencil so the final product was my metal nails nail polish from the B&M store. Uh, I chose this simply because of it being metal. Um, it's a metallic pink. I don't know if you see it. My lighting is bad today. Good old England. Grey day. 
Um, no natural light. Um, so yeah, I am down to the top of the word metal here. So that is some progress from last time. The problem with this nail polish is it is beautiful going on and it is a pain in the ass to get off. <laughs> Um, what happens is when you apply it, it applies beautifully opaque and you're considering should I, do I need to use a second coat, but I do anyway just to kind of make sure. And then when it comes time to taking it off, when you're um, rubbing your nail varnish over your nail, it takes off the pink easily, that's not a problem. But it leaves like a silver metallic layer which is so hard to get off your nails you literally find yourself scrubbing at your nails and it takes blooming forever so I think what I'm going to invest in is I hear Barry M are now doing a peel off base coat um, nail varnish so I am on the lookout for a good peel off base coat so I'm going to try Barry M's and if you have any suggestions for other good peel off base coats let me know in the comments down below so that is it that is my heavy metals project pan update I have hit goal on one product I am so happy I think um, once I've used all of the gloss in this little tub uh, from this um, lipstick, I'm going to count that as that's done. Um, I am really close to hitting pan on this one, so I'm not too worried about that. In regards to the nail polish, I want to get to below. My goal for the next month is I want to get below the word metal. So at the moment I'm at the top and I want to get to below the word metal. If I do that, I will consider my goal reached. And I guess I'll just keep working on this and another five millimeters off would be great because that would then be over a centimeter worth of use. And I think that would be more than enough to say, okay, yep, I've used that enough. Because I started with a lot of brand new item so I knew I was never gonna use up or hit pan I never expected to hit pan um, so yes yeah, that is my heavy metals project pan if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very very soon bye